Welcome to the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds, and this episode we're shooting studio beauty and fashion using the Godox AD100 Pro. This little beauty will be our key light throughout the whole session. I'll be using a range of modifiers throughout to vary the look, and if I need a little extra fill, I'll use my AD200s on a low power with the bare bulb accessory in a softbox for some extra dimension. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and wait to the end for the free product giveaway. I can't wait to get going, so let's shoot. For our first setup, I'm aiming for a high key, glowing white on white fashion portrait. I hang some white translucent curtains around the model, and I'm using three lights two rim lights behind the model and shooting through the fabric, and our key light, our main light source, will be the AD100 Pro in a softbox with diffusion and grid. The rim lights are both AD200s with different modifiers for a deliberately asymmetrical effect. 18200 64th power is in a strip softbox. The other is in a standard reflector and both are angled carefully to shine through the white fabric onto our subject while avoiding any flare caused by light entering the lens. The AD100 Pro in the softbox is close to our model which helps soften the light fall off and means we only need a quarter power which I then reduce to an eighth. The surrounding white fabric and the white dress act as reflectors, so the light bounces back onto our subject, leaving us with very little shadow on the face and giving us that high-key, glowing look I'm after. A wide aperture of 2.8 helps add to the overall softness and ethereal tone of the portrait. The second look is totally different, with a vibrant vintage 60s theme. Our first lighting setup for this makeup and styling is designed to mimic natural light using a single AD100 Pro. To achieve this, I place the AD100 Pro in a 120cm softbox behind the model and pointing over her shoulder, hitting two white V-flats placed as close to the model as possible and with a small reflector under her face. I shoot through the narrow gap in the flats. This creates a cage of reflection and gives the effect of a hair light and a very soft light on the face with just one AD100 Pro. A very wide aperture of f2 gives that soft natural light effect. Yet if we take a look at the frame with the flash turned off, you can see that there is hardly any ambient light at all hitting the sensor at these camera settings. The result is exactly what I wanted. soft flattering and doesn't have that typical studio flash look at all. Our next setup shows what a different look you can achieve just by changing the lighting. We have the same vintage 60s styling, but I wanted a more traditional fashion look with punchier lighting and shadows to shape the face and clothes. I added an 8200 on very low power in a softbox above the subject for an overhead fill light and used the 8100 Pro as our key light in a silver umbrella with diffusion layer and grid. The result is a more defined look, but with a slight fill to the shadows and backdrop.
For setup four, we have a couture dress with a very sculptural look, which contrasts beautifully with the nude tones of the skin and dress and brown backdrop. I wanted to emphasize the structure of the fabric using hard light. For the crisp shadow fall off I wanted, we needed a small light source. So I simply removed the softbox and used the AD100 Pro with the grid and barn door accessories to control spill and aimed it through a homemade gobo to create a dappled shadow effect on the backdrop. For this shot, I wanted more detail throughout the dress and body. So I narrowed the aperture to f5.6 and used a quarter power on our key AD100 Pro light. The AD200 remained overhead in a softbox at low power to provide a subtle pop of light on the model's arm and hair. Setup 5 is a classic portrait to take of the same outfit. The AD100 Pro is back in a silver umbrella at a 45 degree angle with diffusion layer and grid, feathered slightly in front of the model, and the overhead AD200 provides a slight fill and some illumination of her hair and back. By asking our subject to look at the light, we maintain a butterfly lighting pattern despite the light being at 45 degrees. The crisp shadows are gone, and we now have a soft shadow fall-off sculpting the features. One small modification gives us setup six, a white reflector under the model's face to fill shadows. Our AD100 Pro is still our key light, and an F4 aperture gives me plenty of detail throughout the face for this classic beauty shot. We have been shooting all day, and the battery on our key light, the AD100 Pro, is still going strong. At just over a pound in weight, it's easy to move around the studio, and has provided the key lighting for our entire shoot. <laughs> Hopefully some of these techniques have inspired you to get into the studio and create using the AD100 Pro. Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your photography needs, from lights to modifiers to stands and more. And if you like to win free products, then stay tuned because Godox is giving away a free product at the end of every episode. For this one, it's the Godox AD100 Pro that you've seen in action today. For a chance to win, just enter your answer to this easy question in the comments below. Today, we shot both dark, dramatic, and soft looks using hard and soft light. What would you create with the AD100 Pro and why? Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Sarah Edmonds, and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep creating with light.